Arsenal Fan TV, DT, um, what did, first of all, oh, decent point today? Played crap. What do you want me to say? It was rubbish. Fenger's jumping around cheering on the touchline because he's practically secured his fourth place. I don't want that. What, what kind of mentality did they come out with? Did they not look at the... But, oh, yes, oh, wait a minute. That's all ah. they've got to play for at the moment, isn't it? So, yeah, but Robbie... What, did they not, come here did to they lose? Not, did they not see the Tottenham score and go, do you know what, we go out there and get that win today. I know fans are not going to be happy with the season, but let's try and appease the fans and the problems but that we have not had games season. where we said, right, we've absolutely gone for it and then ended up being exposed and lost those games. Oh, Robbie, we were exposed anyway. <laughs> How the hell we didn't lose that still. They, they, they were cutting us apart. And it's the way Wenger celebrated at the end of the game sums up his mentality sums up the mentality of the club and where we're going and i know what you're saying but isn't it listen the, the top prize is gone right so from a couple of weeks ago we know we've got no chance of winning yeah. that. congratulations so then, Leicester, so, it's an embarrassment yeah it's an so embarrassment. next target surely is at least secure top four because top whatever we think about it top four trophy whatever mm. people laugh or whatever is very important to get into champions league if as all the fans, we all want him to go out there and buy some major players in the summer. They ain't going to come if we haven't got Champions League football. You say that, but we're still a big club, Robbie. You but know, it is a big... It, what, you what, what, a lot, lot of the big a, players a, don't a lot, of, a lot of big players may sit there and, and look at the situation and go, you know what, we'll go there for a year, get in the Champions League, and we, we'll have it next year. At the end of the day, have we really got any chance of winning the Champions League at the minute, Robbie? No, we just go in the Champions League and no, get but embarrassed. You, would you not say that's a point, though, that... To, in order to secure those big players in the summer, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't you, a wouldn't. Champions League spot. I wouldn't because you look at the other year when uh, Man United first fell out of it, and they still went out and spent the money. I know it didn't work, but well, they, they didn't but get they those elite track. players that they well, really wanted, the did they? At the time, right? Hear me out. But at the time when they took Falcao, right? Regardless of how it's all panned out, at that time, Falcao was one of the best strikers. Everyone was like, Jesus. But they still attracted him. You know, they still attracted him because sometimes money does talk. And I know what happened after that, and he's just gone backwards. But at that present time, there was many an Arsenal fan, including myself, going, why the fuck did we not get Falcao gutted on transfer deadline day, seeing the plane fly? So do you know what I'm saying? So I don't think that is the be all and end all. What, what, did, what did you... I, I, now, I saw you going into the ground today. Yeah. I saw you trying to take your banner in and it got, it got taken off for you. North um, Korea. For, you, you wasn't allowed to take your yeah. banner in. North Korea. What? North Korea, Robbie. That's what it's like. It's a dictatorship. There was Arsenal stewards here. So I'm going to say a few things that have happened right now. Now, you're not allowed to have an opinion anymore because they're taking the banner off us. There's no profanity on the banners. There's no rudeness about it. We're actually thanking him on one of them. You know? What about and the other, the one, the Cronkey one? What's the matter with that? So no, I'm just asking you, I'm didn't say hate Cronky or something? So, mm. didn't Arsenal actually authorise a Love Arsenal Hate Usmanov banner inside the Emirates? Which, was, which, was, uh, uh, which Red Action put up. And they've since come out and said that they wish they'd never got involved in that. So that's what we've done. We've mimicked what they've done. So if they try and turn around and say, well, you can't use words like hate. Well, yeah, we can because you've done exactly the same. Mm. So now, there's been a lot of mixed response. Yeah. Since the the protests and that, there's been, I, I noticed today in particular a lot of people coming out in favour. Even people are speaking to, they're like, you know what, these banners now, put them away now, put away all the, you know, put away all these placards, pieces of paper, and let's just get beyond the team from now till the end of the season. We know that it doesn't look like the manager's going to go anywhere. Do you think that we? I mean, you, you're still persisting with it. Do you think it's time now? To just let's just get behind the team. We've got behind the team all season, Robbie. Mm. You go all the away games, and you know I'm there as well. We, you know, we've been to some places and seen some awful stuff. Remember when we was out in Zagreb? I don't, no, I don't doubt your support no, for Arsenal any is, for any minute. Is, but I'm just saying, listen, if we make if we pull out the banners after the game's finished, so what? For 90 minutes, I'm cheering the team 110. percent Yeah, if and that includes from the players to the manager to everyone. Everyone. But people say this whole respect. Yeah? Works both ways, Robbie. Arsene Wenger should respect <clears throat> us. But what about a player now? If it, w when the game's finished and I've just played my heart out, right? And then I come over and I see a banner there. You know, Wenger out. Because they are all part. Whether they're players, that, but they're working for him, right? And they see all that. They, in their mind, might be thinking, oh, come on. What kind nah, of fans are these? They need to man Don't up. You, do you think? They get paid enough money, man up. You know, it'd be, a, it'd be the first time this season that they would have manned up, wouldn't it? Because they've let everyone down. 
You know, this ain't just Wenger's fault. It's, it, it's a combination from top to bottom, from Conkey to Wenger, Chips Keswick, Ivan Gazidis, the players. Mm. You know, he's put too much faith in certain players that are just not good enough. You know, everyone, I see people tweeting earlier saying, oh, Giroud scored, oh, knew Rip Wenger was right. It's like, Jesus Christ, man, it's taken him 15 <laughs> games to score a goal. And it's like, one goal, don't change it. Come on now. Mm. Do you know, and it's, people will say, and they say, oh, Ozil's got a bit of an injury. Listen, there's more to it than that. I'm telling you now, there's more to it. And it's to do with Alexis, Ozil, Giroud. Mm. Just wait, okay? Because there's more to that Ozil not being here today than you lot might think. And what I'm going to talk about now was what happened at the end. First and foremost, there's some people on Twitter saying that I got arrested. Well, hello, how you doing? I'm not arrested, yeah? Sorry about that. But um, what happened was, end of the game, one of the banners that got in, right, went to be pulled up. Not by me, by a couple of other people. Went to pull them up. Two fans that disagree with it tried assaulting them and pulling the banner down, right? So there was a bit of a melee, things were going on and whatnot. I'm still two rows in front at this point. They try putting it up again. They're getting every kind of obscenity thrown at them from CUNTs, wankers, you know, scum, go fuck off down the lane, all these kind of things by about three, now about three or four people, right? These people are saying, just let us have our, you know, there was a, a, a Wenger banner saying about giving him more time and whatnot. Nobody went near them. None of us went up to them, tried pulling it down, assaulting them or doing anything like that. We let them have their freedom of speech. Yeah. Now, I then got involved when one of them knocked my son flying. Touch the banner, fine. Touch my son, you see a different level. Right. Now, this is the problem we've got at Arsenal Football Club right now, Robbie. It's poison. So is it then time to put the banners away no, no, no. is it then time to just say you know what we're nearly at the end of the season yeah let's just park up the banners let's just see what happens now let's just or even give it a different approach because it is starting to the banners and that is starting to be a bit, bit you know it's causing a poisonous atmosphere like you said Robbie the poisonous atmosphere was here before the banners it was here way before the banners. But do you think that inflames it though ah uh. Depends. It how, is your it, opinion. Well, it depends how it is sensitive your opinion, you are. But some people it, see it and you know they're what? like, oh, It depends how sensitive it. some people are. They need to go home and change their knickers. Because it's just like, they're, they're like little girls, man, mm. bitching about everything. At the end of the day, we've got an opinion. I love Arsenal Football Club. But you're not going to shut me up. Sorry, you're not mm. going to shut me up. And so finally, let me, let me ask you finally. So he stays, yeah? Right? Yeah. Which looks like well, that's going to happen. He's going <laughs> to yeah, stay. Yeah, All yeah. Right? <laughs> what does he got to do next season? for you what's he got to do in the summer for you go out and buy some players in key areas that we need which are we need another center back we need someone to go in that defensive midfield role as well i'm at el Nenny, you know and this is the thing i can praise wenger and i've said this all along i think he's found himself a gem and i said this to you a long time yeah, ago you did, yeah. So, at the end of the day, we can praise Arsene Wenger because it looks like he found a good one there in El Nene. And, and, and that's a good thing. But at the same time, he's neglected so much, Robbie. He's neglected so much. And the striker. Come on, man. We knew we needed one before the season started. Jermaine Defoe has scored more league goals than Giroud. Listen, get over right now onto the Ball Street channel and subscribe for a chance to win this signed Santi Cozzola t-shirt. All you got to do is subscribe to Ball Street and watch the video with me on there talking about Santi Corzola and tell them that Arsenal Fan TV sends you. Subscribe right now to our mates over there on Ball Street.